It's Wednesday, September 14th, and Pittsburgh residents are getting a glimpse of the future today as Uber rolls out their first test fleet of self-driving cars. In a blog post, Uber CEO Travis Kalanick said the test fleet will have humans in the driver's seat to take over the driving if need be, and that precaution will likely continue in the near future as well while the inevitable kinks in such a complex endeavor get ironed out. But eventually, you know drivers will go away. The Uber test fleet uses the Ford Fusion as the base vehicle and then stacks this camera and sensor laden mini Ghostbusters kit on top of the car. It features about 20 cameras, seven lasers, that spinning Skynet thing, and a whole bunch of computer power under the hood. Pittsburgh should make for a good testing venue as it's full of bridges, tunnels, hills, and odd intersections. If Uber's robot cars can drive safely there, they can probably get it done anywhere. So iPhone users, you upgrade to OS X yet? Well, if so, we've got a guide to what's new and different in the latest update. There were some reports that the update was bricking some phones early on, but Apple says they have taken care of that glitch. So what is new? Lots of stuff, and DT's Mallory Goki has a point-by-point -point tour of the new OS. One big change, how messaging works, including access to photos, stickers, apps, Mario, drawings, and other important stuff. We've also got a great list of the top 15 things to check out in OS X, so hit the links below for everything you need to know about Apple's latest mobile operating system update. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 exploding phone saga drags on, and we have to say again, if you have one, send it back for a new, non explody one. In the meantime, Samsung will issue a software update to hopefully lessen the danger. The update, due out in a week, will limit how much users can charge the phone, since that seems to be when the suspect batteries are most likely to pop. So far, it looks like the phones will be limited to a 60% charge, which of course can put a damper on your day, so we'd imagine the sales of portable chargers is about to get a boost. Samsung has recalled each and every Note 7 produced, which is about 2.5 million phones in 10 countries. Samsung says that overall, only a small number of phones are at risk due to faulty battery packs. Buyers can return their phones to Samsung for a free replacement, but as you might imagine, the wait time for the new phones is beginning to get long, so we'd advise you do it sooner than later. And don't bring them onto airplanes, please. We've got the rest of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.